What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, <clears throat> my voice sounds a little messed up. Don't know why, but today I'm going to show you how to mod Boneworks. If y'all don't know what that is, I've been I played it on my channel a few times. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, <I'm, coughs> my voice is messed up right now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show y'all how to mod it. Um, so, what you want to do is you want to come over here and type in melon, melon loader, I'll have all this stuff, um, linked in the, uh, description, melon loader, and so, when you type in melon loader, download, click on the melon loader wiki, wiki <clears throat> started um and then after you click get started you click the where it says download melon loader dot installer dot exe and then when you have it down here you want to open it there um and then you come over here to your storage D it, or your D drive it's probably going to be in your C drive but it's in my D drive if it's in your if it's not in your C drive check in your D drive so then you go steam and then up at the top i just typed in boneworks but you can you can uh, just you, where you find steam okay click on steam you can go to steam apps common and click on Boneworks right here where it says Boneworks, all caps. Click on the Boneworks folder again. And then I already have mods downloaded. Um, and then you want to click on this right here where it says Boneworks and ha <clears throat> has a little icon. Click on that. Oh, wait. I'm accidentally loading Boneworks. Oh, no, no, no. Let's not do that. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay. So. It should stay, uh, or it should let you, I should say. Um, I think it should let you say, click install. Um, I, um, you can also do this. You can go over to thunderstore.com. IO right here. Melon loader. Manual download. I think this is the same thing. Not too sure though. Okay. When you download the, uh, It should stay, it should let you click on install since I already have it. Um, it should, um, like, work. Yeah, it should let you click install. Um, not too sure why it won't let me, but I think since I already have it, but I'm not too sure. So, come back over to your Boneworks folder, um, and then when you, click, when you click install, it should, I think, be, like, right here. It should automatically load the, like, should automatically like put the files where it needs to be. Um, uh, yeah, if you launch the game, it should be generated automatically. Um, they should get auto generated automatically generated. If they're there, they're there. If they're not. 
I... I'm not too sure. But, yeah, and then when you come, I'll link both of these in the description. This is where I download my mods. Um, I don't know what... I'm going to download a mod for an example. Um, this is like an archive to what people used to use for getting mods. It was like... It was Bone Tone. That's what it was. Bone Tone. People used to get that. They used to just download their mods on that, but that got shut down. This is just an archive for it. Um, but yeah. So, um, when from when you're here, from here, you can, you have to download mod that's not mod. Manual download. Okay, so then you want to uh, open this folder right here. It says plugins on both of the. So okay, so on the mod that is not mod folder, quick plugins, backwards capability plugin. You want to. So when you have your Boneworks folder right here, right, you want to take the backwards capability plugin from the mod that is not mod folder to the Boneworks folder. The Boneworks plugin folder. So you drag it to the plugin right here and then replace. And then. So then you click on mods. Don't mess with the. Uh, don't do anything with the bottom one. Just. Use the DLL. Um, I see. I used this when I got them. It still works. If you want, I don't know. I just just use the DLL. Drag it into the folder, and then now I'm about to delete a mod because that one wasn't really good. Dang it! Excellent close. So, you want to come here and, like, just, like, find, I'll show you how to download, mod, like, a mod. Hmm. Let me get my... works folder open. Okay. Okay. So if you're wanting. Okay. So. Super strength. Oh, I don't even have this one. Okay. I'm going to get this. So you click manual download. Okay. And then when you're here, I drag it to my desktop. Minimize this so it's out of my way. Um, open it. And then see where it says DLL. Okay. You go, that means, so, DLL fold, uh, mods, right? They only go in the mods folder. Okay, let me say that again. DLL mods only go in the mods folder. Okay, so what you do, you drag it into the mods folder. There, that should work. See, but then, plugins, or no, don't mess with plugins ever. Unless you're getting it, uh, getting the thing. 
Um, then, if you have dot melon folders, you go over to user data, custom items, right here. These are like uh, custom guns. I'm okay. Um, so the dot melon like guns, the dot melon like guns and stuff, like your custom items, like the guns, knives, uh, stuff like that. It goes if it has dot melon at the end, it only goes. In custom items, okay. Say so again, user data, custom items, dot melons go in here, okay. Only dot melons go in there. Um, you can also get like Ford Soldier, for example. It's, a, it's not a gun or sword or anything like that. It is a, it has dot melon. So no matter if it has, if it's a, if it's just like a player model, which it won't have dot melon in it. No, 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 that's a bad example. If you have a custom NPC and it has dot melon, put it in the custom items. It's weird, I know. That's just how it is. If you have custom maps, um, you can't. You have to put it right here, and then if it has dot BCM, that goes in the maps folder. I made the mistake and put it here. Did not mean to do that. Uh, cause I wasn't too sure. It was my first. These are actually these two right here, the playground and the Wii Island, were my two first uh, maps, and I got the Seven Eleven uh, map. It's really cool. Um, but yes, custom maps go in the custom maps folder. Pretty self-explanatory. Player models go in the player model um, folder. If it has dot body at the end, that means it's a player model. If it doesn't, it's not a player model. Yeah, that's really it to it. There's really not much to it. It's not like people see what thing the thing about tutorials, people make it sound like it's like so hard. Like it's so complicated. Let's be real. It's really it's pretty straightforward at like, at the end of the day, it's pretty straightforward. So I keep messing with stuff on accident. Um yeah, it's pretty straightforward, like I said. Um, I don't know what that folder does. <laughs> Melon loader, stuff like this. Don't mess with any of this if you're downloading mods. Um, but yeah, that's really it, actually. Do I, did I? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I just... All right, now I'm going to, let me see if I can switch over to this. I don't know if it will still show, but I'm going to, okay, so, all right, never mind. So, now you go to Steam, and here, look, hold on, really fast, I'm going to mention this. If you have it on Oculus, on, like, right here, basically, and you have see i don't have boneworks on oculus store if you have boneworks on this it will only let you get up to a certain amount of custom items player models maps and stuff like that before boneworks just completely stops working um <laughs> that is guys true um You have to mod it. Yeah, that's why I'm making this video. Because modding it is so fun. It just makes the game more interesting. And I'm going to make another video. Or, you know what? No, I'm probably just going to add it in this video. Um, No, I'm going to do it in the next one. Next modding video. How you... See, I didn't really, like, grind out Boneworks or everything. You see, that's what... um. That's what this is. This gives you everything in the entire game. Um, you know, actually, I might just show y'all how to do it now. Wait. There's like a how to install video guide. But it was removed. So I might actually just make the video now since his video got removed probably is what I'm gonna do yeah okay but yeah after you download the mods and stuff I recommend getting this mod um and then you can also get like 
other mods, but this is just for if you want everything. Okay. So you want to... How do I do this? <laughs> Um, you can, I think I went in like, <gasps> okay, I think I remember now, remember, 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 song, uh, wait, where is, Okay. Alright, I'll make a different video on how to do this. Um, but then you just want to load up Boneworks. You don't have to. So when you see this, that means that the mods are working. And this is the Melon Loader um, loading screen. You won't see it in-game. You'll only see it on the computer. Hold on really fast. Let me make sure. VR. Okay, so it should work. Um, but yeah. Um, it's working. So, yeah. This is the Melon Loader, like, loading thing. This, see, when it's red, that means some mods didn't work. That's fine. Um, but, like, these are the mods that are loading. Like, mod, like, these are basically just the, but yeah, um, if y'all enjoyed this, uh, if you close that out, it closes Boneworks out. Thing is, I don't think it'll let you play in story mode because, like, it's, like, mods just won't, like, I don't know, mods just, like, bug out when I, it, when stuff like that happens. I'm not too sure, but, uh, yeah, if y'all enjoyed this modding Boneworks tutorial, please make sure to, um, like, subscribe, turn post notifications on. So you never miss a, another Boneworks video, Gorilla Tag video, uh, VR, Roblox, um, modding tutorials, for example. Like, so, I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll see you on the uh, next uh, video. Bye.